Hello everyone, Neophys here, and welcome back to Season 2 of Neophys playing Minecraft on the Cobble Cobble server. And this is episode 35. I, th I don't know if I ever even really show you this, but uh, this is the inside of my home in this little village that I'm in. It's just, it was always meant to just be a temporary home, but I've been here so long that I'm just wall-to-wall -wall storage and functionality here. Space is nice and tight. Uh, my, my bed, I was thinking of changing the bed so that it shifted the other way. I don't know, I might do, let's try that. Like that. Let's see how that works out, eh? We'll try it like that for a little while. I can get up this way easier if I want. I can still, you know, yeah, you access that stuff okay. But yeah, you can see, lots of chests full of stuff and furnaces. And I even tucked a crafting table down into there. <laughs> Squeeze it all nice and tight. Yep. And if that isn't bad enough, From here, all the way down to here, is cobblestone. What's that? 12 chests of cobblestone? Basically, that's cobblestone I got all out of digging out that slime farm. So yeah, slime farm, big success. Cobblestone production, major success. So I can do some pretty big building with what, what I've got there. That's good. So... Uh, you probably noticed, I'll mention, uh, I seem to have had a little bit of a falling out with the villagers and they all kind of suddenly uh, rebelled against me and the reason why is because one of them overheard me saying that they were dumber than mud and uh, next thing you know I've got a whole town full of angry villagers on my hand so uh, they made me agree that they have to be treated better and they're sort of insisting on feeling like royalty so that's why we had to roll out the red carpet so now all the walkways in the village are red carpet and all the villagers are happy because they feel more important now now isn't that something so uh, this worked out rather well. I'm not sure if I was so tickled with their choice of color, but uh, I was able to just put lighting underneath all of these, and you don't actually see it now. All right, so it's well lit, but not visible. So that works out good. So that's a really good use for the carpeting, is to just cover up your lighting so you don't have to have torches so yeah you can see the red carpet goes all the way through and across to you know these two farms I've got going here and you know I think that, oh, look at that guy hiding out there I didn't think I had such a dark spot that he could even spawn you know let's get him I guess he didn't last long trying to get there I'll have to check out the lighting around here and figure out how he spawned. Thank goodness that wasn't a zombie, eh? And could have taken out all my villagers. Oh no. Okay, well, that was a major thing that I wanted to show you that happened here. Uh, aside from the piles of chests that I got from making the farm here, and the farm's working out good. All my farms need harvesting right now, but that's not what we're up to here today. What we're going to do is what I promised. And uh, so we're taken off, off to the witch farm. Let's take the passageway for a change. We always, uh, I need to put in stairs here. That way uh, I'll probably use it more often. Yeah, I still need to clear out those caves. Uh, and that's uh, basically what this is all about. Is today we're going to clear out some of the caves. 
Not here, though. I've got a specific spot in mind. What we're doing is we're going up to the farm, and uh, you might remember if you saw the episode, I showed uh, a spot where uh, uh, the water in the swamp went right down into a ravine. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to go in there and see if we can get that ravine lit up. And not die doing it, because, you know, you're going down a waterfall, they could be shooting at me, it could be dangerous. <laughs> well, we'll see. I've got myself pretty well protected here. I've got a protection 3 golden helmet, uh, two good pieces of fire protection diamond armor, and a feather falling projectile protection only leather. So, I don't know, the leather and the gold probably won't last long, but it'll do. Oh, I was waiting to get rid of that bread so I could pull out the pumpkins. Oh, and you don't see me do this much, but I'm bringing a couple of potions, a few potions here with me today. I've got regeneration and some instant health splash potions. You don't see me use them much because I don't use them much. Uh, I try to survive without them. But yeah, it's a pretty clear path coming all the way out here. Yeah, there's the water I'm looking for, right there. There's a spot I need to deal with in the future too, but we want this spot here today. And it would have been better to do this at, in the daytime when there'll be some light down here, but you know, this is just the way it worked out, eh? So, I'd be better off with some kind of... Okay, now that we're in here and away from the villagers, let's get the sound up where I can hear the sounds going on here, like that skeleton that I just heard. Oh, uh -oh. What? Where? You drowning? Okay, as long as you're not ready to ping me off the, the edge there. So let's get a bit of this lid here. Oh. Jeez. You'd think I was far enough away from him, eh? And he was just hiding up in the corner here. If I was smart, I would uh, grab that. Oh, that leads to more, so we'll have to go there and clear that out. At least enough to uh, light it up. There might have been something else there, because I know I heard the zombie, but I never saw him. Another dead end. Okay, well, as long as it's all well lit, that's what's what we're looking for here. Anything over here? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just throw a torch in there. Okay, so, where else? Let's go this way a little bit. Okay, that's pretty clear. Oop clear in, they can't get down this hall. And another dead end. Okay. So, um, let's light this up a bit. And you notice when I'm, uh, like I, I've said before, I put the torches on the right wall so I know the way out. If I need more light, the torch goes on the floor so I know it's not a directional torch. Just in case you didn't notice that I was doing that. Okay, um... Let's just get one over here. Did you hear a pig? I thought I heard a pig go oink. Yeah, I heard him again. <laughs> Jeez. Let me get down here. Some, I, I don't know how... He, look at how far down it is still. Wow. Oh yeah, we got a little ways to go still here. <laughs> but, you know, typically I like to light up the top levels first. Because that way you're not going to have mobs dropping in on you. <laughs> uh, for real. <laughs> what do we got here? 
Yeah, open. Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. I was trying to get over to there. Now I'm lost as to where I am. Okay. Yeah, obviously that's fake. Okay, I somehow managed to get a torch in here before here. Maybe it was on my way down. I probably did that. It's just another dead end. Sure is. Oh, I don't need the coal, but I'll take the iron. I'm not going to stop and waste time for the coal. I could dig coal forever, but that's uh, that's not really very exciting. But getting the iron is. Oh, I heard that scully again. It's probably behind a wall close by. Or the next floor down. <laughs> or up. Oh. Okay, I appear to be up in the air at least. And there's more torches that I threw down. And that guy, okay, just to... Just to, just to shut you up. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm going to have to jump back in the water. Let's see. Is this where I just come from? It is. Okay, so... And that's where I just was again. Okay, is there another spot to go for go to from here? Something really dark here. Ha! Ah, so we found another opening. Yeah, we're gonna find a few of these, and I want to get them all lit. That's why I'm fiddling with this to make sure I don't leave a dark spot, right? Oh. Okay. I get it. Hmm. Let's get over there and light that up a bit. Mm -hmm. Not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody was able to spawn here. So let's light it up. That was, uh, I almost fell there. I just did. Darn. There goes all my stuff. So that feather falling didn't help me very much, did it? Jeez. Now, the good thing is, how do I get my stuff back? <laughs> At least I know approximately where it is. Oh yeah, how come I didn't uh, end up in at my bed? <laughs> okay, well let's try and get back there. Oh, it probably took me to home one. That's it. And that's where I was there. It was home one. Okay, now I gotta somehow fortify myself enough to get back there and get that stuff. <sighs> well, this time if I just ride the water all the way down, I shouldn't have a problem, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, right. No problems. No problems at all. Oh, there's some other kind of feather fall, so let's try that too. Yeah, you can see there's not much left of this, just enough to get in and out. Oh, I thought I had some pants though. Oh, boots. No, that's all I had was boots. Okay. I need some pants. Where's the pants? Oh, we'll try these ones. Okay, on goes the pants. Now I got a sword here somewhere too, I think. Not there. I'll use this one. I was trying to save that one, but we'll just have to take it for now. And we can go dashing back now. Oh, I better bring some food just in case, eh? Um, we'll bring these carrots. Okay, and we're off. Off on a rescue mission for my stuff. Oh, I hope I don't lose that stuff. I had that diamond armor. Diamond sword. Oh, a couple of good pickaxes there. Jeez. Well, these things happen. I derped it, went sailing down in the dark. Didn't even see where I was. I could hear some squishies back there. Okay, 
Well, I think I was out of range, so I think the timer would be starting about now. Instead of, uh, when I was way back there. Hopefully it was out of range and the timer hadn't started on it. But... We'll see if we can get back there in time. And... At least it's daytime now. Oh, somewhere around all this, eh? Jeez. It is a long way down, isn't it? And where did I end up falling to? Somewhere around the edge here? No, I thought it was more like, uh... the stone stuff that I was around. I still don't see anything here. Oh, there's experience orb. That must be me. Yes, and here's all my stuff. Ooh. In a fun spot to try and get to it, too. Oh, I got something at least. Seems to be the rest. Oh, there's something I missed. Anything washed down here? I didn't look at him. Wasn't me. Okay. Well, I think I got everything. So, let's see if I can get reorganized. Get the good stuff back on that I wanted to have, <laughs> for however good it did me. Put this stuff back, arrange things just a little bit here. Uh, no. Let's see. Oh, I got 25 torches left. Good. Uh-oh. Good nobody's jumped me yet. Jeez, let's get some light up here. I didn't want to be all the way down here, though. I'm going to have to go back up so I can light more of that stuff up up there. That up stuff up there. <laughs> okay. Shovel. Oh, there's the food that I want to be having. Okay. Oh, right, the bow. Arrows. Okay, I guess I'm set to venture back out again. Well, I can do a little bit of lighting while I'm down here, I guess. Hope nothing uh, really comes to do me. No, it figures you'd be standing right in my way. Oh, it's like an Enderman convention in here, or what, eh? There's three of them down there. There's one right under me, one over there, one over there. And this one up here with me, hoping I'll look at him. Well, I'll be back. I really should go for him, though, but I just don't think, uh... Well, I don't know, I've got the sharpness sword. Let's eat some pie. And try and take him out. Come on, dude, come and get me. Oh, jeez. And he goes and falls down. Like a dumb dumb. Like a dumb dumb, he just goes and falls down. Okay. Do the dumb dumb. Dum da dum dum. <laughs> oh, now he's coming after me in the water. <laughs> Stupid Enderman. Okay, let's get up. Light some of this. In case he comes back. This isn't a bad spot. Really. Not so bad at least. Okay, that's lit. Oh. I guess he's not mad at me anymore.
Oh, he's basically in the same spot. Oh, he dropped a pearl for me. Yay! We got the pearl. And that sort of cleared the bad spot out here. So we can get it lit. Okay. We're getting there. Yeah. When you're at the bottom, you usually gotta make way like this. Oh, there's a second ravine. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Two ravines. Okay. I don't know where all the mobs are, but I'm not complaining. Okay, we made it all the way in here, so let's just get the good stuff on the way out. Could always use more iron. Okay. Keep an eye out up there for mobs. Uh, should I go down this ravine now too? No, let's finish the first one first. Let's not just get ourselves all broken up like that. Um, that's a spot I'd like to go up. I don't think I'm going to need an axe anytime soon. So let's just uh, make a little uppity here. And get it lit. See, it's these spots here that bother me. Where it's just one, but it's just enough space for a mob to spawn. Oh, and that goes into the next side. If I put one there, yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so we've got another piece of iron here. It's begging me to dig it out. So I did. Ooh, more stuff going on down there, too. As you can see, this is a somewhat lengthy process to run around and light this all up. Because you keep running into more passages like this. It keeps branching on and on and on. So, I can only show you this for so long. It's going to take a lot longer than what I plan to show in an episode. I can probably go another five minutes though. Then I'll have to stop and either do another episode. Oh, one breaks into the other. Eh? Cool. Okay, well let's get some light. In a few of these spots at least. It is kind of neat checking it all out. And getting what you can out of it. But, uh... It takes time though. It doesn't happen right away. Uh, how that got past me, we do not know. Looks like there's more going on this way here. Yep. So, we, you can see, I've, I really frequently lay down the torches. I'm, I'm not going to be stingy in the least bit. I want... Wow. I want this to be as lit up as I can possibly get it so that mobs definitely don't spawn is what I'm trying to achieve here that way uh, you know ideally you cover every last stitch of space so that there is nothing left but the space at the witch farm and the only things that are legally allowed to spawn in that witch farm zone are the witches themselves. So that's the way to, uh, you know, get the rate to come up is by making sure nothing else can spawn anywhere or else, every, anywhere within range of it. And 
then that'll leave nothing but witches. Wow. Hmm. Interesting, eh? Okay. Uh, let's get one more in here in case that gets doused somehow. And we went down there. Did I get enough light on the other side of this? Let's put one down there anyway. Okay, so I guess we got this way to go now. Oh yeah, and this is going to do the on and on and on thing. Let's see, how far does this go? Is it a dead end or does it keep going? It almost feels like it's going to dead end. And it did. That was a lucky guess, eh? Alright, okay, let's eat some pie. And is there anything to mine out on the way back? A little bit. Okay. So we'll take the stuff and run with it. Now this is what I brought the second pick for. It's, a, it's only an iron silk touch, but it'll keep my inventory from filling with stuff like this very quickly. <laughs> so I'll be able to go longer without the inventory getting full. Okay, so yeah, there's the guy I was hearing. Should we go for him? We got any dirt? No. Okay, I can use some cobble, though. So let's do that. We'll make just a little cobble protection here. Ah, no pearl. What a rip-off, eh? I even had to put up with that sound for nothing. Jeez. Darn mobs. <laughs> I wish they would, uh, I don't know. I guess the odds are about right, but I just, you know, you want the drops more often, though, that's all. That's just how it is. You always want more than what you get. Oh, jeez, and something going off that way. Well, we'll have to uh, come to that after we go this away. So you can see how I'm systematically trying to get through every branch I can find. And, you know, uh, hopefully eventually end up... Oh, I, I know where we are now. We're at the lower level of what we were looking down on before. Aha! So this is going to wind and turn and... I have lots of water to fight and everything. Yeehaw. <laughs> oh boy. And this takes us back up into the other ravine now, it looks like. Now, is there... Oh no, I'm seeing mobs. I've had mobs. I was going to say, is mobs turned off or something? I've just been really, really lucky. That's all. I don't think... Boy, he was on fire. <laughs> that was uh, bizarre and he was on fire <laughs> oh boy okay I gotta get this lit up this is bad really bad so let's just make tons of torches here so that we don't run out anytime soon and oh my god did you see that there he was again on fire again Okay, let's take these ones out to get up. Almost any mob, I don't mind it, except the creepers. <laughs> Suddenly, bzz, boom, you know, them darn fuzzy guys. They just love to come up out of nowhere and boom, you know, <laughs> which can be a real hassle. <laughs> Real hassle at times, is what they are. Them fuzzy guys. 
but uh, all the other mobs I can handle. You just got to be careful around the skeletons so they don't like knock you off a cliff edge or something. But them darn creepers though, they they uh, take a lot of the fun out of the game sometimes, especially when they blow up your hard-earned work. <laughs> but oh, and there's this ledge too to deal with. Yeah, see, this is why, you know, I want to go around these ledges and light them up because they can spawn in those spots. So, this is what I'd usually do is I'll just tunnel my way around where there isn't a walkway, I make one. Oh, does that support it underneath? Oh, it is. Okay, let's get it. So, we'll take that iron. Thank you. And, oh, we almost made our way to the next spot. So you just keep lighting it as you go, you know. Uh, I can tunnel around this lava pretty easily. I can bridge across if I want to as well, you know. Just be a little inventive. Be careful around lava, though. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> That's this one continuing. Ha! Okay, well, let's get into it. It's gotta be lit. Gotta have everything lit. Oh, jeez. Um. So, yeah, you can see this. This can go on and on. But I think we're pretty much uh, at about the end of the episode. So, I'll just lay down a couple more torches here. Let's see about getting just to the end of this. Yeah, and we made it to the end. And so I'm in a safe spot now. So, there you go. That's, uh, you know, the beginning of me working on getting these uh, caves all lit up. And it's going to take some time. I can see myself spending many hours under the ground here just following this network of caves because it, it just goes on and on. It's not like, it's not like back in version 2.5 uh, of, or 1.5 of Minecraft where, you know, the caves, you know, you're lucky if they went very far. But now it's just this intricate, intricate network underground that's just hairy and scary. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for coming by. Everybody take care. And until next time, this is Neofiz signing out.